You're watching the 5 o'clock news. Pretty much everywhere you go in the city nowadays, you can find someone wearing some sort of Rangers attire. Yeah, that's for sure. The hockey team's success in the playoffs seems to be bringing out a lot of fans. So what is it that has New Yorkers so excited? We sent Jennifer Williams to find out. Here's a chance for Zibanejad out in front, and Chris Kreider scores! In game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, forward Chris Kreider, the longest tenured Ranger and one of the league's leading goal scorers during the regular season, put the blue shirts on the board first, and the team would not look back, demolishing the Lightning 6-2, the final score. There was a lot of energy in the garden last night, and I think that helped the Rangers after coming off a game seven that had them look like they used all their energy up, but the garden crowd got everybody excited, and it was nuts last night. I don't think uh, Tampa Bay had a chance last night. At Mustang Harry's, one of the unofficial Rangers bars by Madison Square Garden, fans were still buzzing over a statement win by the Blue Shirts to open their series against the reigning two-time defending Stanley Cup champs. Listen, I went to Rutgers and, and was in the Jersey area a long time, saw the old great Rangers teams from the you know 80s and 90s, and I think it's just fantastic to see the Rangers back. In. As a longtime fan, I mean, hoping that they would get here at some point and finally did and just keeping one game at one game at a time and uh, keep on pushing. While some Rangers fans were cautiously optimistic, other New Yorkers went much farther as to not jinx the Blue Shirts hopes of making the Stanley Cup finals. I don't even know what sport that is. I, I'm not really a not really a hockey fan, so my brother in law is a huge Ranger fan, so I'm rooting for them, but I'm more plugged into basketball. One Rangers fan had quite the optimistic spin for New York basketball fans that won't see their teams in the NBA final. I'm really excited because the Knicks and the Nets suck, so um, we got to have a, a, a parade downtown. Game two is Friday at Madison Square Garden. Puck drops at 8 p.m. In Midtown, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.